Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we let the user order product from here. So in this tutorial, we're going to show those order product in the admin dashboard. So let me just log out from here. And let me log in as an admin. So I'll keep the admin email, then the password here, then click login. And there you can see currently we are in the admin dashboard. So first of all, what we are going to do is that we are going to have a order option over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource, then views. Inside views, we have the admin folder. And inside admin, we'll go to the sidebar.play.php. Then after this product, okay, let me just copy this li for category. And after this li tag for product, I'm going to paste it here and here i'm going to say orders let's say here orders save then if we now refresh here there you can see we have a onboard column called orders so what we want is when we click on this order option it will take us to another page and in a table it will show us all the order data so let's go back to the code and here we are going to say view orders so right now let's go to our web.php and get this route. So we'll go to routes, then web.php. Then we'll just right click go down. Then let me just copy this, paste it here and our URL name was view underscore order. So I'm going to say here view underscore order. And uh, I'm going to copy this middle name. Let me just copy this middle auth admin. Since we are going to use the admin controller. So we are going to say auth admin and we are going to say here admin controller. And our function name will be view underscore order. So right now since we are working with the admin view and we only let the admin have access to that. That's why we are using middle auth admin. So right now, let's go to our admin controller and create this function. So we'll go to our app HTTP controller and here you can see admin controller. Let me just try to go down. Then here we are going to say public function view underscore order to first bracket. From here, we'll just return a simple view for now. We'll say return view and it will be admin dot order. So let's go to our admin folder and create this order.play.php. So I'll just right click on admin, then click new file. And we're going to say here order.blade.php. Control S, then save. So here I'm going to say the HTML tag. In the body, we're going to say order page. Save it. Let me refresh here. Click on order not found view orders okay so in the sidebar we write view orders so there is a s so it will be view underscore orders there will be s and the request will be get method not post so make sure to write route get let me say refresh here and there you can see order face so in this order face or view order we have to have the admin template design so for it let's go back to the code and we'll go to our index.blade.php i'm going to copy everything from here then we'll go to our order.blade.php and paste whatever code we just copied from the index.blade.php then we are going to remove this admin.body save this then if we now refresh this page there you can see so when you click on this order, it can take us to this day. So right now, let's go and create a table over here in order to show the data from the order table. Here you can see we have the order table and we have few data. So right now, first of all, let's go and create a table. So we'll go back and here we're going to set table tag. Then in this table tag, we're going to first set tr. In this tr, we're going to set table header. So first of all, we're going to write the customer name and after that we'll have customer location and phone number. So let's say here, 
location, phone number. Uh, okay, let me just say here address. Then this will be phone number. It's a phone, and after that, we are going to show the product title. So let me say here product title. After product title, we are going to have product price. Let's say here price, and after price, we are going to have image product image so let's just say here image so after this table header we are going to have the table data so let's have another tr first then in this tr we are going to set td so on two three four five six we have six table headers so let me just copy this and paste it five times four and five and here i am going to say uh let's say a b c and if we now set this then refresh here there you can see customer name whatever so right now we need to make it look like a table so we're going to write some css for this so let's get the top and in the head section we're going to say here style and in the style i'm going to mention the table tag let's say a table to second bracket we're going to say border it will be on or let's say 2px solid sky blue let's also say here text align it will be center and after that we are going to write some css for the th tag uh, so here we are going to say th then to second bracket we are going to say here background color it will be sky blue let's say here padding it will be 10 px and uh, font size it will be 18 px font weight it will be bold and text align it will be centered so right now if we save then refresh here there you can see it will look like this so right now let's have our table in the center so let's go back and here uh, before the table tag let me just mention another div here this div will end after the table tag over here and what we are going to do is in this div we are going to mention a class let's say class will be table underscore center so we are going to make the table in the center so here we are going to mention the class we will say here dollar table underscore center to second bracket we are going to say display it will be flex then justify content it will be center and items align items it will be center save it then refresh there can see it is in the center so right now what we need to do is we need to get the data from the order table and here you can see you also get, are getting the product id over here so using the product id we will be able to get the product title price and image so first of all let's go and get the customer name address and phone number so let's go back then we'll go to our controller admin controller and first of all we need to add the order model in our admin controller so let me just copy this then paste it here and we're going to measure order model here then we'll go down and here we are going to mention a variable let's say dollar data equal to we are going to measure model order double clone all so we will get all the data from the order table so right now all the data from the order table will be stored in this dollar data variable and we are going to send the dollar data variable in the view so we will see here compact it will be data so right now let's go to this view order.blade.php and here you can see the td tag so let me just select those then i'm going to give over here to second bracket then i'm going to mention this dollar data over here we will set dollar data this arrow sign then we need to mention a variable but before that uh, from the order table we are going to send multiple data so here for this tr tag we need to mention at the top for each to first bracket dollar data as dollar data 
and this for each loop will end over here so we'll say at the end of end for each so you need to write it like this so first of all we have the customer name so how did we write the customer name we write it like this name customer address is like this rec underscore address and phone is phone so here we're going to say name then after name we have the address and we'll see here rec underscore address then here we're going to say phone so for now let me just remove those and i give you arrow sign here so i need to remove it to over here let's go back to the browser then refresh here and there you can see we are going to see the customer name here then the address and the phone number okay so right now we are going to get the data for product title price and image by using the product id and here you can see product underscore id and user underscore id we are using this in the order table as a foreign key so right now we're going to make a connection with the user table and product table using user id and product id so for it let's go back to the code and we'll go to our app then models and inside model we have oral model here you can see order.php and here we're going to say public function we're going to mention user then to fast bracket like this then we are going to say what here return dollar this then this arrow sign we are going to say here has on then to first bracket single quotation and here we need to mention the user model name so we are going to say here app backslash models backslash it will be user table i mean the user model and after that we will give a comma single quotation and from the user table we are going to mention the id and from the order table we are going to mention the user underscore id so we are trying to make a connection with the user table id using user underscore id from the order table so the same way we are going to make a connection with the product table so let me just copy this and paste it here and this time instead of user here we are going to say product and here we are going to mention the product model name which is product and this one will be id that's fine but this one it will be product id so let's set this and right now we'll go to our order.plate.php and here we are going to give two second bracket then we we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign and here you can see product title and uh, if you go to the order table there is no product title column but we have the product id and we make a connection here with the product table so right now we're going to mention this product here after this dollar data came this arrow sign and from the product table right now using the product id as a foreign key we'll be able to get the product title so if you go to the product table let me just go to the product table here you can see we have written title like this title so we are just going to say here title if we now set this then refresh here there you can see we are able to get the product title so the same way we can get the price and the images as well so let's go back and let me just copy this paste it here this time we'll get the price and here we're going to get the image so in order to get the image we need to use the image tag and in the source we keep our product image in the product folder so let me see over here products folder name backslash and it will be uh, let me just copy this paste it here and it will be image let's also mention the width for the product image it will be on 50 so let's save this and refresh here there you can see we are able to get the image over here also the price and let me just change the color for the text for the td tag so here we are going to say td and color it will be white and let's say for the text tag we are going to say the same thing 
let's say here padding it will be 10 px and we can do one more thing that is we can see here border we can say on px solid sky blue save refresh here and there we go and we're going to show one more data over here and that is here you can see uh in the order table we have an onward column called status so we're going to show it after the image so let's go back and let's go down and here after the image table header we're going to say here status and and uh, after the image let me just copy this td or not this one let's copy this td paste it here and here we're just going to say dollar data status save it refresh and there you can see in progress so in the next tutorial we are going to let the admins change the product status from in progress to deliver cancel or on the way so this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials